okay? Now, two weeks ago I said I would see you next week. Well, that didn't happen. So, I'm giving you a two first. Uh, the first video I'll be posting is on the serving tray. This one is going to be on saws. Uh, it's part of my woodworking tool series. Now, all saws come in three types. There's the open blade, the frame, and the back. Open blade saws, like your panel saws, your cross-cut saws, your um, pit saws, um, keyhole saws, are, are really meant to cut through thick wood, uh, make long cuts through wood, or make cuts in the center of wood. Uh, they're essentially just a blade with a handle. Back saws, like this little dovetail saw, or this massive miter saw here, are used for joinery. The back stiffens the blade up allows you to make um, precise cuts for mortars and tenons, dovetails. Um, this big boy I use for making dados and um, across the uh, white panels and carcass work. While frame saws, like the coping saw, the fret saw, uh, the bow saw, um, actually can be used uh, for making regular cuts, or they can use, be used for making curves. Um, mostly just curves, and, and for cutting out the waste and dovetails. Most saws, you, most traditional saws, will be, have two types of teeth. Rip cut, in which the teeth are filed across at a nine, at 90 degrees across the face to have a chisel like action and cross cut where they're they are filed in a knife like fashion for cutting across the grain. Saws vary in length and depth according to what they're being designed for use. A dovetail saw, you really only need a short thin blade because most dovetails only come in three quarters of an inch, because it, which is the depth of most, most boards. Um, all saws are limited in some way with open panel. You're limited to your in the depth of cut from your from the nose to the handle. With back saws, you're limited to length of the blade plus the blade under the back. And with frame saws, you're limited to the length and the depth within the frame itself. So, uh, as far as names, uh, some names are still applicable, like dovetail saw, tenon saw, which is still, I mean, those names still apply because you still cut dovetails and tenons with them. Coping saw, I mean, most people don't even know what coping is anymore. But it's become so tied to the tool that even if you don't know what the, what the term coping originally meant, people know it by that. Other names like carcass saw, um, sash saw, I mean, those things have really passed by the wayside. So, basically, when choosing a saw, choose a saw based on, uh, on your needs.
Um, now I saw the number of teeth per inch and the amount of set determines the finish. The more teeth per inch and the narrower the set, which is how far the tooth is set to each side, the, um, the less set, the more teeth, the finer the cut. Uh, you can actually get a pretty glass smooth finish. Here's a miter I cut out with my tenon saw. And as you can see, there's almost no saw marks on that. So, now obviously there are other types of saws, but these right here are your most common. And the ones you'll, because they're, they're the most used. So, anyway, um, that really is about it. Like I said, this is this series of design is basically an, an introduction to give you basic knowledge that allows you to get started. Then, as you go, you can look up more authoritative sources, more in-depth sources. So, that solves, and I will see you back here for chisels. Thank you.